begin using the church track accounting feature, first you have to enter one or more bank accounts. Now, an account can be anything from a basic checking or savings account with your bank to a mortgage, loan, or credit card, or even a money market account. Basically, anything that comes with a monthly statement from the financial institution can be added to ChurchTrack as an account. To add an account, all you have to do is click the Add a New Bank Account button at the bottom of this list of accounts, and in the flyout menu on the right, enter the account name, then select the account type, whether it's an asset or a liability. Next, you'll enter the beginning balance. You'll want to choose whatever is listed on the most recent statement from that account or financial institution. We'll just say this one is $10,000. And then you'll also enter the beginning date on that same statement. Next, you'll choose a category and a fund for that beginning balance to be assigned to. Now, accounts are not fund or category specific, meaning you can assign multiple funds and categories to an account. But for the beginning balance, you'll choose one fund and one category to put that beginning balance into. And if you need to divide that beginning balance up amongst multiple funds and categories, you can do that by editing that initial transaction on the register screen for this account. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But once you've selected the category and fund, click Create Account and you'll see this new account appear on the accounts list. Now from here, you can edit the account by clicking the notepad to the right of the account name. And in the new flyout menu, I can change the account name or the account type, and I can even delete this account from here. I can also drag and drop this account up and down the list to change the way they're arranged and displayed. And if I click on the name of the account, it takes me to the register for this account where I can edit this initial transaction to divide that beginning balance up amongst multiple categories and funds. That's it for today for our creating and editing accounts video. If you need any further assistance, be sure to check out our online user guide at churchtrack.com support. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks and have a blessed day.